Hey guys, my name is Moran Pomber and today we're going to talk about the best strategy to grow your business and this is part four. Let's get to it. So hey, my name is Moran Pomber and if you're watching this on YouTube, um, I'm basically, I was involved in many different seven figure businesses over the last few years. I'm here to share with you my journey and just, just document my lessons, my mistakes and hopefully help you, I guess, open your mind to what's possible, especially give you strategies that work in the big corporate companies out there and how they're using what they're doing to grow their businesses and how you can use those same strategies in your small businesses. So most people out there talk about growing businesses by doing more marketing, more sales, always talking about the new uh, strategy and, and tactic. I'm here to also expand on growing your business by acquisitions, which is to go out there and buy businesses. And I'm going to explore two of those options. I think both can work. I think growing by acquisitions is faster. And growing organically is obviously something you got to do initially if you decide to start from scratch. So. This is what this channel is all about. Definitely like, subscribe, comment below. I'll comment back and let you know um, and, and reply myself. So definitely go know, let me know what you think. And yeah, subscribe, hit the notification button. But um, yeah, let's get to today's video for now. So in the last videos, and also see the links in the description below to join our free business mastermind on Facebook. It's a great group with other business owners. But either way, in the last videos, we talked about kind of like things that hold you back when you're thinking about strategies. Everyone out there think that you got to have the next strategy, the next tactic, the, the most updated one. You got to do chatbots now, now there's, that's a big order. You got to do the next thing. You got to promote on, I don't know, different platforms. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case, guys. The best businesses out there, they grow by following very simple fundamentals and they're just repeating them again and again and again. I'm talking very simple fundamentals, fundamentals of growing businesses to grow organically. All you need is to do, get more leads, close those leads and bring sales and deliver a great product. That's the way to grow organically. To grow by acquisitions externally, it's very similar. Just go find businesses, make offers on those businesses, and raise capital to close those deals. That's, that's kind of like it in a nutshell. Obviously, there's more in, involved into that, but unless you see business as a very simple process, you're always gonna think that you're missing something out, that you're not enough, and that's what's really holding big people back because they're always looking for the next shiny object instead of really focusing on what's working right now. And today I really want to focus on following one process to the T. So it's not about the strategy that you follow, it's more about you following one strategy 100% without looking outside. So I'm talking if you want to grow organically, just find someone who will teach you everything, how to get sales, how to get leads, how to get leads, sorry, how to uh, convert to sales and how to deliver a great product and find someone who will give you all the process A to Z. You don't want to work with someone who will just teach you how to do marketing or how to do sales or then how to do a great product. You want to find someone who can give you everything and to give you the support and accountability while you implement that process. Unless you have that, you're missing something. Same goes with growing by acquisitions. If you want to learn how to grow your business by acquisitions, go and find a strategy. If it's us, if it's someone else, find someone who can give you the process A to Z, how to find deals, how to make offers, how to evaluate if a deal is a good deal, how to raise capital, everything. And also give you, I think what differentiates me and my team is we also give you the accountability and support and we are there with you, do it with you basically versus just giving you videos to watch or just sending you to a weekend seminar with us and then send you on your own. It's frustrating to see that people are not giving that support, first of all. Other people in the market, they're not giving that support, they're not giving the accountability, and they're not doing it with you. Unless you, unless we are there with you, doing those things with you, you're gonna miss something. And you learning from someone 40 years ago is not gonna be the same strategy as gonna work right now. So you gotta understand, don't learn from 10 different sources. Like for me right now, I'm trying to learn from as little mentors as possible in every field of my life. So in business, if it's growing organically or by acquisitions, if it's personal, if it's health, learn from one person who got the results that you want and learn everything that they're doing. Walk like them, talk like them, think like them, dress like them if needed. Otherwise, you're gonna always look outside. You're always gonna think like the grass is always greener, but it's not true. The grass is the grass is green where you where you put water on it. That's that's where you really get the grass green. Otherwise, you're always gonna look at the next email, the next advertising, the next everything. If I were you, I would literally, and even if it means that you don't listen to me anymore, but go out there and literally unsubscribe for all your, all of your email list, everything. Just pick one person in business organically and one person to grow by acquisitions and delete everyone else. Otherwise, you're gonna have so many different thoughts 
even if in the end of the day they're similar, but the different changes are going to overwhelm you. And again, going to bring us back to what we talked about in the last videos, which is going to give you an opportunity. Your mind is always looking for an opportunity to self-doubt yourself. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to then be a perfectionist because you're always going to try to find the perfect uh, strategy. You're going to always try to learn from this one, but that, then you're going to learn a new thing. So you need to perfect your, your plan first before you implement. You, you can progress that way, guys. You got to find one person, learn everything A to Z from him and get this support and accountability from him. If it means that you pay him a small fortune or that you shadow him or that you work for free from him, I don't know, you do whatever it takes to learn from him. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really hard to progress. Now, you're probably saying, hey, this is really hard to just disconnect from everything else and just focus on one person. And I know that it's hard, but it's really about reminding yourself what is important to you. Do you care more about knowing more, about having more knowledge and access to more information in your head? Or do you want the results? And by results, I'm talking more revenues in your business. I'm talking more profitability in your business. And I'm talking better lifestyle. Because if you focus on, on just one of them, something is going to be miserable. If you're going to focus only on revenues, like I know people who make millions of dollars in sales, but they're taking almost no money at home to themselves after all their expenses. And that's that's not a way to do business in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's just not worth it. You saying that you have a $20 million business and you're taking only small, less than like five or, or small six figures income in the end of the day, is it really worth it? No, I, I don't think so. I think it's also about having the right profit and the right lifestyle. If you're working all day long, doing something you hate, there is a difference between working all day long because you're really enjoying it versus doing something you really hate that you wish someone else would do. So on, you need to really think with yourself, what are my goals? What is the, my revenues goals? What is my profit goals? And what, and I'm talking profit, business and personal, right? The profit that you have in your business and how much you take home. And I'm talking about your lifestyle goals. How many hours you want to work? What's the freedom you want to have? Do you want to be able to work from everywhere you want? Or do you want to have just one home base and then maybe have vacation every now and then? Do you have the freedom to do those vacations? And always remind yourself, what are my goals? Do I want to be good in business and get those results? Or do I just want more knowledge? If you want more knowledge, then yeah, continue to listen to everyone else, get all the emails and promotions and all that stuff. But if you want the results, find one person who got those results already, who can help you achieve those results already and do whatever you can to learn from those people and shadow them and learn from them and make sure those people also give you the right support and accountability. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really hard to execute and get those results that you want. So. That's my lesson to you. And again, you have two ways to grow your business. One of them is organically and one of them is by external acquisition, by acquisitions. If you want to find someone to help you organically, find someone to give you everything. If you want someone to help you grow or explore if growing by acquisitions is for you, then definitely reach out to me and my team. We are the best in the field. We've been involved in more than 300 deals and we can definitely talk to you and figure out where you're at, where you want to be, and we can tell you if growing back acquisitions can fit you. And if it is, we can tell you how you can work with us. So you can talk to us for free. There's no charge for that. And we're happy to give you value and just really put a mirror in front of you and show you kind of give you an objective set of eyes or, or a second set of eyes to see what's possible. And if it's a fit, cool. If not, we'll direct you to someone else who could potentially, first of all, maybe help you grow more by organic ways, by doing more sales and marketing. For some businesses, that's the path to go because they need to go through, first of all, a few lessons and I guess some kind of a learning curve before they can buy and grow by acquisition. So if you want to learn more about that, go to moanapober.com forward slash talk and you can learn, see the details there and have a conversation with me and my team. Otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See the links in the description below if you didn't join our free business uh, mastermind yet. And yeah, if you're watching it on videos, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment below and let me know what you think. It's moving forward. So, and I, I, I promise I'll, I'll reply back myself. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.